Hi guys, we're shooting a quick video on a question that was asked to me on how I easily plot support and resistance area. And if nanonood ka nito at marunong ka na, um, marunong ka na mag-plot ng support and resistance at nag-detrade ka na, then this video is not for you. This is for people who have probably watched a couple of videos about support and resistance and they need siguro something na doing it in actual, like like how I do it. Yun yung isi-share ko sa inyo. And maybe you're watching, you still would want to watch it <laughs> and confirm kung tama ba yung ginagawa mo or not. But I want to tell you na there's no one way to do it. This is how I do it na mas madali at mas efficient for me. And it works naman. So if you're doing it differently, tapos it's working for you, edi good for you. Diba? Ang goal naman natin, why we are trading is, you know, to grow our money and to multiply our capital in the stock market. And so, para kang, ano, sige, ganito na lang. So para kang nagluto ng adobo tapos there's no one way to do it, pero lahat naman siya masarap. So, parang gano'n na lang siya. Kasi, I know, merong magsasabi na, ay, hindi ganyan, that's not how I do it, hindi naman yung ganyan paggawa niyan, but really, it worked for me, yun lang. Ang dami ko sinabi. So, watch this video, it's just real quick, and if you pick up something, you learn something in the end, don't forget to subscribe. So, let's freaking go! How can I, sige, here's the question, how can I easily plot support and resistance? Is there any technique? Kuha tayo ng stock na at ayun, may plot na. How can I easily plot support and resistance? Number one, you can zoom out. Ayan, zoom out mo ng malala. Kailangan mo makuha yung overall trend. Walang limit naman kung gaano ka layo yung isu-zoom out mo na year. But, syempre, the longer the base, the longer the support, mas mag, mas strong siyang mag-hold and then mas mahaba yung resistance or mas marami siyang tinamaan na resistance. Mas stronger yung resistance na i-break niya. So, eto, albawa yan, isu-zoom out mo, mapaplat mo na siyang ganyan kasi nagtatouch siya dito, nagtatouch siya dyan, nagtatouch siya dito. Pag sinum out ko pa, zoom out pa natin, kita mo dito, nagtatouch din siya. Yan. Tapos, kukonnect the dots ka na lang na, yan, puguhitan sila. So, hindi naman siya kailangan accurate. Pero, within this area, this area, this area, di ba? One, two, three, four, di ba? More than three, nagtatouch siya. Uh, that could be your support. So, if dito, resistance, liitan ko, tatouch siya dyan, nauuntog siya. Kung saan siya nauuntog? Dyan. Tapos dito, sa area na to, ayan, di ba? Ngayon, pag tinraise mo sila, yan yung resistance mo. So, yan. That's one way. You zoom out and then you find common areas kung saan siya nauuntog. Or, you can do, para hindi masyadong marami yung, yung tinitingnan mong candles, saka yung zoom out. Uh, what I like to do also is put week, weekly candles. Tapos, saka ako siya mas matitrace. Well, actually, sila din naman yan. Kaya lang, kumunti yung candles mo kasi weekly na siya. So, ayan. Ito. Same, same lang din. Ayan. So, yun. Chini-change ko ng weekly. Tapos, ito. Sila lang. Sila din. Ayan. Yan. So, yan. Ang pinaka... How, how to easily plot support and resistance. That's the technique. Change the time frame to weekly. And then, find common areas. Ayan. Tapos, connect the dots. 